Alright, we're back with the members of the analyst desk. Damon Gaming cruise through another series. We'll meet, we'll have a talk with uh, Canyon and Nogri. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. Alright, you guys are taking one step closer to the undefeated round two. Alright, Canyon, tell us about the series today. It was a very clean game, as well as uh, getting that penal kill. I feel very content in that regard. Alright, Nogri, you received uh, player of the game as well. This is your uh, first interview. How do you feel? I feel great because we got the win ASAP. And I've received, I haven't received uh, POTG in a while, but I was able to get it, so I'm content in that regard. All right, Kenya, you're the first uh, jungler in LCK history to acquire a pentakill. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's kind of on the blue when I got that pentakill, but I was satisfied when my teammates uh, helped me to get it. Did you know it was the first in LCK? Well, I thought that Alphic already did it in Kespa Cup, but in LCK uh, regular season itself, I realized that after the game. Did you imagine to achieve such a feat? I never um, considered it because as a jungler it's very arduous to get a penalty kill but uh, getting that penalty kill ma made me uh, feel very happy all right let's check out the moment where you got the, got the penalty kill especially using nidalee is very arduous to get that penalty kill Push in, push in. Stop watch. Just get rid of the turrets. Let's try. Leave one behind. Yield it to us. I'll die for you. Yay! We got the Pena Canyon. Uh, that's a good comfy bus ride, for sure. Seems like all of the teammates were much happier than you are. So any words to your teammates? Alright, thanks for uh, contributing to uh, yielding the pentakill to me. And next time, whenever uh, one of our teammates has the opportunity, I'll contribute as well. Alright, in game one, in regards to the draft, Fate chose Zoe as a first pick. Uh, what was the reaction from Showmaker? Uh, looking at the bans from Sandbox, we predicted that uh, Zoe will be first pick. So there weren't much reactions in regards to it. However, we had enough uh, picks to play up against Zoe, so it didn't really matter. So amongst the team, you guys seem like uh, you guys have already won the series whenever our showmaker picks Zoe. Uh, what's your take on that? He roams around, uh, hits his skill shots as precisely as possible. Whenever he gets that uh, trouble bubble onto his targets, then he translates that into kills. So that's why we feel comfortable. Or Kenya, you've been performing very well recently. We were able to contribute to uh, help the solo laners to carry the game. Uh, this wasn't not this wasn't really uh, shown in tournament matches in the past, but now you guys are starting to uh, delineate that. How do you feel about it? All right, while I play, I have the mindset of uh, trying to propagate the snowballs for my solo laners. So that's the mindset I go into every matchup. <laughs> I think uh, you're a brilliant jungler as well. Much appreciated. Uh, in the voice comm just earlier, uh, Ghost was uh, shouting that Bus Rider is comfy. So a lot of the critics mentioned that Ghost is the hidden hero of Damon Gaming. Uh, what's your take on that comment? As aforementioned, we try to be uh, very offens offensive amongst the solo laners and uh, junglers while uh, Ghost holding his own ground, so I'm very thankful for him to do so. 
because other players have been have been very exceptional. So I wasn't able to get the opportunity to have a POJ interview, but I feel great for uh, conducting the interview here. Uh, how do you feel? Because there has to be a lot of pressure mounted on your shoulders. Well, I don't have to do much in my uh, respective lane, and I feel very uh, comfortable, and I feel very uh, placid because our other teammates are performing exceptionally. Seems like uh, you have been uh, cohesive with your teammates, and uh, how do you guys uh, manage to play, make such cohesive plays? I think uh, the, de the decrease of my ISO deaths is directly related to our teammates uh, performing extraordinarily. So I don't just have to make, I don't have to go for so-called clutch or super plays. So I just have to uh, do my job and that's all I'm focusing on and therefore I think I was able to gain more stability. How do you feel, Canyon, about uh, Nogori's stability? <laughs> I just feel like he's doing the same. Just like before, he's been uh, doing his job exceptionally well. So he's very uh, great and proud to uh, see him perform well. The pros of uh, Damo's series is that uh, getting that 2-0 uh, victory always whenever they get the dubs, especially in a <laughs> high-paced manner. Or Nogri, I have a question for you. When I used to be an active player, the stylistic aspect of your place aren't really the ones that want to be on my side as well as on the enemy's side. It seems like you have uh, grown a lot in terms of uh, being on the same page with the teammates and making team-oriented plays. Uh, what's your take on your development? I just try to do uh, whatever is uh, given to me. Uh, I guess I have changed, although I haven't really uh, felt that myself. And I just realized that due to other people commenting on my uh, alterations of playstyle. Is there any uh, particular assignment if you guys don't finish the game ASAP? Like you have to play extra solo breaks or so forth? Just our stylistically, we just we are very aggressive. We're very combat oriented, so I think that's why we're able to close out games decisively. Now your next series will be uh, up against DRS, whom you uh, fell to in one to two. Canyon, your resolution. Uh, we lost in a regrettable fashion the last time we met DRX. We're going to dwindle our mistakes, and we'll try to get the job and try to carry out the momentum. All right, Nogori. I was very disappointed in my performance versus uh, series in DRS. I'll prep as much as possible and get that uh, revenge. Alright, congratulations once again, both to Nogori and Canyon.